You might remember a recent video where I found and slabbed this rock. Uh, it's got this really nice green background, a uh, really dark green background with lighter green streaks going through it. It kind of looks like marble to me. Uh, so really cool rock. And I asked you guys what uh, you thought I should do with it. And the top suggestions I got were make cabs or cabochons or pendants. Um, make bottoms for the little turtles I make. I make turtles with uh, green bottoms and then Petoskey stone tops. And uh, crosses, I make those. You know that I make those. And so some people suggested that. And Christmas ornaments. So they thought maybe it looked like a nice Christmas tree. So those are the, uh, the top suggestions. And I'm going to try to do all of those things with this rock. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. I managed to squeeze everything onto these two slabs, so that slab is going to be a spare in case I mess one of these up. So the cutting is going to be slightly different on these depending on what I'm doing. Uh, for the pendants, I'll only go like maybe a sixteenth of an inch from the line, and then I'll take it over to the cab machine and, and do you know, more precise work with that and just grind to the line. Uh, for the turtle and the cross, uh, I'll cut right up to the lines because those are just going to get thrown in the tumbler, so uh, they're going to be the, the edges are going to get tumbled a little bit anyhow, so it doesn't need to be quite as precise as the pendants do. Uh, the tree, I will cut along here, just a flat line and a flat line up here. So I have a flat base to set it on and a flat surface on the top to drill the hole in the top to hang it from. Uh, that's easier than trying to uh, drill into a little pointy thing. Uh, then I'll bring it back to the saw and I'll cut it out right to the line and that'll go in the tumbler with the other stuff. Uh, one thing you want to be careful of is that you don't tumble something that's too soft. And I can't be 100% sure of this, but I'm going to take a knife and kind of scratch on there. And can you see, I, I did it over here before, uh, but it left knife metal from the knife on the rock. So knife metal is about 5.5 on the Mohs scale. And so I know that this rock's going to be harder than five and a half. So it should tumble okay, but I'm not going to be 100% sure until I actually put it in the tumbler. Those two are all cut out and ready for the lotto tumbler and any imperfections on the sides will just be ground out by the tumbler. And then we have our three pendants. They're very roughly cut out and like I said I'll finish those up over on the calving machine in a minute. And then the Christmas tree is just cut on the top and the bottom and that way I can set this down, drill a hole in the top there and then I'll come back and cut it out like I did the turtle and the cross. I just loaded the lotto tumbler up with some other shapes. Uh, I have a dozen little fish shapes in here. These are walleyes that I'm making fridge magnets out of for a friend. And uh, I'm going to throw these in with them. Uh, there's also some Christmas ornaments and crosses and a whole bunch of ceramics in here. So let's turn this on. We'll just toss those right in. These are shaping up nicely. Got all three of them ground down to the line. And so I'm uh, kind of deciding which side is going to be up. Uh, that has more of that light green, which I kind of like. I kind of like the look of that side better. So I've decided on this side for this one. This is kind of similar looking. I, I 
kind of like the there's more green, but I just kind of like the more vivid stripes over here. And I really like this one. That looks a little messier. I like the more, I don't know, more contrast there in the middle. So those are going to be the top sides. Uh, this is a glass grinding machine with a groove bit in it. So the next thing I need to do is put a groove around the edge. That's where my wire will go when I do my wire wraps. Gotta go deeper than that, but that's the idea. I have my groove cut in there and a girdle line drawn on, so now I just need to put the dop sticks on and dome the tops. The cabs are all finished and now it's time to wrap them. So I'm not going to show you a lot of details here, I'll show you some little snippets along the way, but I'll link a tutorial in the description of this video so if you want to do this on your own you can see how to do it there. It's, it's really good, it's one I use all the time. Uh, you'll need a few tools, got some silver wire here, and uh, I guess I'll just get on with it. I got them all wrapped. Sometimes I split the top of the bale like that and sometimes I leave it together. Uh, I like them better split apart. My wife likes them better together. Um, both ways look good I guess. There you can see the, the wire in the groove. So those are done. Now I just have to wait for the rocks and the tumbler to get done and glue the turtle together. I'll be all finished. I really like the back on that turtle. I didn't show you doing that, but I, I have some of those made up ahead of time. And uh, it's a really, really interesting rock there. I like that one a lot. Uh, these did not polish up quite as well in the tumbler as I was hoping. It, it, they've got a good shine, but they're not as shiny as these are. Uh, so on the cab machine, I get a little better shine. So the rock must not have been quite as hard as I thought it was. Uh, harder rocks tend to polish up better in the tumbler. And I've got one more slab I can make some more stuff with. So uh, I don't know what I'll do, but I'm kind of leaning towards these pendants. I really like them a lot. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, I'll link one here where I made Christmas ornaments. I make these and angels and uh, bells are the other thing. So I'll give you all the details about how I did everything, like putting the little hooks in and uh, how I attach these together and all that. So click on that and I'll see you over there.